Hi, all this is Chris here with Everyday VBA, and this video is the Macro Monday solution to choose a random self of a range. Now, I got this from two different places, or two different, I had two different thoughts on this. One, I was thinking of a magic eight ball, and two, I've been working on a um, just a like a uh, social media calendar, and this is actually can be really nice for hashtags as far as picking random hashtags from a set list, and so that's where this came from. So we are just going to go ahead and dig in. I've got my Visual Basic Editor open. That's Alt F11 to get you there. And we're just going to start coding. Now this is a function. We're going to call this um, from range uh, one uh, range cell. And I'm going to be passing in RNG as range. And really this is this is the function. So I'm going to be passing in one variable and it's going to return a single, basically the text from a single cell. So a couple things just to go over on this before we kind of dig through. Um, one, we've got that range. So we're going to get through that range with a for loop. So we're going to go through for each cell in the range, and that's an easy way to get through there. And then we need to have a counter based on random, based on the size of that range. So let's go ahead and set up our for loop. So for each C in RNG. Okay, so that's our loop that will basically loop through our range, which is perfect. Um, now what we have to do is we've got to set up a random integer that is the size of that range. So you're going to get your size. You're going to go. Um, I'm going to do a. Uh, I'm going to write this this formula out. So we're going to go. I is equal to. Um, the first thing we need to do is rng dot rows dot count times rng dot columns dot count okay now that's going to give me the number of um, the number of the, the size right so the number of total cells in that range right so that's perfect so now what we need to do is we need to find a random number that falls between one and the last number of that so the easiest way to do that is we're going to do n is equal to rnd rand, which is the random number, times i. And that's going to give us um, a random number that falls between um, 1 and the last cell. Now, the thing that we have to do on this is we do need to turn it into an integer. Uh, and an integer is just basically a whole number, so something without decimals. And so now what we do is we've got our counter. So we're going to go, um, we're going to put in if uh, we need to do a counter. So we're going to do the counter here. So we're going to do another var variable, c is equal to 1, and we're going to go if c, c equals n, then exit 4, and we need to make sure that we increase that counter, c equal to c plus 1, and that's going to go through there. Now, we actually, we can't use c because we've already used that as the cell, so we're going to change this to cl. Um, that would have, it would have caused an error, I would have gotten an error there. So, now all we need to do is we just need to pass that whatever's in that cell fast back to the function. So we're going to go RNG cell equals CL and we actually should be good to go. So I'm going to walk through this really quick. Um, first thing we need to do is this is a function so you can't actually walk through it. So we're going to go equals range cell. Now just a quick caveat on functions. Functions are tied to the workbook that they are written in. Um, so I couldn't write this on my workbook and then pass it somewhere else. That wouldn't work. And you'll notice that it returned. So we've got a value error. So let's figure out what's going on. So I'm going to put in a break here. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to hit enter. Okay, let's make sure that we're doing everything right. Um, it doesn't like my rows count or columns because I spelled columns incorrectly. That should fix it. So, okay. So now we've got, we're going to come through here. It gives me six. So I'm going to go 
Um, I've got six, which is what, which makes sense. I'm going to go four, and I'm going to go through my counter. So c is equal to one, n is equal to four, and it's just going to go through here until it finds that c is equal to n. Then we're going to exit the four, and we still have the cell, and that's I'm not sure, and it's going to pass that to the function. So what's awesome about this is if you did have some, you know, just some random, random cells in here, um, or uh, if you had a list of which you wanted to pick random items, kind of like a magic eight ball, or like in my example, a hashtag generator, um, this does it really, really well. So you just put in your information. Um, the reason I did this with two columns is because it's a little bit more challenging to figure out the solution. Um, you could do it as one channel uh, in one column, and it would work just fine. In any case, I hope you enjoyed. If you have not subscribed to the Everyday VBA channel, please do that. Um, if, and also check me out on Facebook at everydayvba.com.